So today we are going to talk about trailing stop. Now, for you to be able to use all of these other types, okay, from stop limit, trailing stop, and OCO, you need to understand first how market order works and how limit order works because these are more advanced. And what this does is to help you lock in profit for yourself, okay? So when we select the trailing stop option, we have a column here to add activation price, okay? This act price here is activation price. Then we have the trailing delta in percentage, okay? TD here is for trailing delta and it's in percentage. Then we have the limit order, okay? And then the amount of the coin you want to sell or buy, all right? You can use trailing stop to buy or sell. But majorly, anything from stop limit downward, I use them to sell my asset whenever I buy them, okay? So if I go to the sell tab and I want to use trailing stop, what trailing stop does is that it allows you to secure profit for yourself, okay? So let's assume that we bought BTC at 16000 all right? And then we want to set a trailing stop when the price increases by 5%, okay? Now, if I buy BTC at this current price, okay let's say we buy btc at 16800 and want to sell or set a trailing stop to start securing profit for us when the market increased by five percent five percent from 16800 will be around 17600 or thereabout okay so i can go ahead and set a trailing stop here all right by putting an activation price when the market increases by five percent so i can go ahead and put in 17600 here okay and then the trailing delta and um, by default binance recommended that one or two percent so the trailing delta is going to be at five percent so i'll just put in five percent here all right and the limit at which you want to sell remember we bought at 16 800 so the limit at which you want to sell should be around this okay so i'll just put in 17 400 for instance okay this will be around four percent or there about also so i'll put in 17 400 okay now the way this trailing stop works is that the price once the price continues to go up the trailing stop will continue to trail the market okay even if the market goes to let's say eighteen thousand or nineteen thousand the trailing stop will continue to follow the market now it will only be activated when the market starts dropping okay so when the market retraces by five percent which is the trailing delta that we put in here then this limit will be set okay now when the limit is set it doesn't mean that it will be sold at exactly 17400 for instance remember that our trailing store will follow the market when it gets to 19 or 18,000. so it will still calculate that five percent so now that is why i say you should understand how to use limit order remember i told you in limit that when you are using limit order the price will be sold at the limit price you set or at a better price so if we get to 19,000 and our trailing stop follows to 19,000, when you start retracing back, 5% from that 19,000 could be around 18 plus, okay? So it means that we could be selling at 18,000 or thereabout. That is how trailing stop works. Whenever you set your trailing stop, okay, it will be activated when the price gets to this um, um, 17,600. And then it will continue, the trailing stop continues to trail the price in as much as it is going higher. All right, then when it retraces by 5%, it automatically set a limit order for you in the order book here. And it sells that for you once it hits that target. So it could set at the exact price you, you've specified here or above this. The same thing happens if you are going to use the buy option. Okay, when you use a trailing stop, it could buy at the exact price you set here, the limit price or below that price all right that is how you use trailing stop make sure you are subscribed to the channel for more videos like this and if you do have issue please comment leave a comment down and i'll see you in the next video